Today we're going to show you how to tune your vehicle with the VR tuned ECU flash using the brand new Alien Tech PowerGate 4 system that works off of your smartphone via Bluetooth and connecting to the OBD2 port in your car. If you've seen some of our other flashing videos and what we've been using, much like many other tuners for years, they are clunky giant systems that really look like they were made in the early 2000s. Finally, one of the Italian companies has stepped up and now we have an all new ECU flashing tool available that makes flash Flashing your car from stock to tune files is extremely easy. A tool like this, the PowerGate 4, is what gets the file read out on the vehicle, gets sent to us, and then we send you back the tune file to put on the device. This is the new PowerGate 4. This works in conjunction with your smartphone, obviously with the iPhone or with an Android phone. So here we go, we got the user manual. This user manual has a QR code. This QR code is what we need to scan to download the app to our phone. You can see we've got the box here. This is what's gonna go into the car and connect the cable. This has the Bluetooth module in here, and this is what's gonna make life very easy. Now when we send you this box, it's already set registered to us. This is specifically to VR Tuned. Um, if you have one from another tuner, we can't use it because they're assigned directly to each tuner's master tool. All right, we have the cable. This is the OBD2 port cable that's gonna to connect to this box. So now I got all the goodies out and I need to get the app. So we're gonna scan this QR code. So you can see here we've got the different functions for the App Store, Android. So we're gonna choose download from the App Store. And unlike some of the older devices, with the PowerGate 4, you don't have to get a whole new tool. We can simply add and reset this thing so you can flash a second vehicle. So this is great for somebody that has multiple cars as well. And you can store many different files on this so you can easily flash between the different maps if required to. Got the app downloaded, so now we can open it up and check it out. And it looks like I need to create an account. Okay, I created the account, now I gotta get an authorization code. So let's pull that up in the email. And we just set our password, so now Oh, we gotta put some more information in here. Okay, the account has been created successfully. So now we've got the PowerGate 4 app set up and we gotta log in and then we can start using the device. Now we get to follow the instructions. Um, so what we gotta do is we gotta take the entire kit out here and we gotta plug this into the car. So this goes into the box there, this goes into the OBD2 port and then we need to follow the directions that are on the phone. So we're gonna show you how the new Alien Tech PowerGate 4 works on this Mercedes AMG GTS. This is a 2016 with the 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 engine. So these are a MED 17 ECU that we can do an ID and then get the tune file written back to the car. So we're gonna plug this into the OBD2 port and that's what's gonna start our process here. So we need to go through the prompts here that they give us on the app and we've already allowed the location, Bluetooth and all that other stuff. So I've got the power gate plugged in here. You can see I got a light down where the OBD2 port is. There's my unit and the yellow light is on and I've got the app ready. We need to select the vehicle um, that we're gonna be using. So go here and choose Mercedes and this is the AMG but we gotta choose gasoline and this is the 4.0 V8 um, the S so we'll go ahead and choose this one hit continue and it's gonna load up some of the data here to access the protocol and then we keep following the directions so we got the ECU Bosch MED 17.7.5 that's what we want so opening that gives us the basic how to connect. We got all that information already. So now we gotta just continue with the process to read out the ECU. What that does is it IDs what the software number is and then provides that so we get the matching original file. So we'll click ID and next. And it should tell us to start the, uh, turn the ignition on. So we're gonna turn that to the on position so all of the lights are on the dashboard. So that means we hit the button two times and you can see all the lights are lit up. So now we go back here and we hit OK. So ECU identification in progress. And again, it's going to read out what the software number is and it's going to pull the original file down and send that to us directly. So OK. And you can see it's been exporting that. So now it says turn off the ignition, did that, hit OK. 
and it's doing a log just so it's logging what it has processed in case there is any issues we can send it directly to alien tech support but as you can see it has done the id and it's now sending that to our servers so you can still see this vehicle blah 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 do you want to proceed yes we do Oop, check that hit confirm so now the file has been sent to our servers, that's complete. The only way we're gonna know that you have actually finished this is we're gonna have you just fill out a couple bits of information and that way we know, okay, you have completed the tune and it's time to look for that and provide you with the new tune file. Okay, we're back connected, got the device plugged into the OBD2 port down there, got my app up. So now we're gonna go through the process here to write the file. So start, it's gonna go ahead and connect to the device, make sure you have your Wi-Fi enabled. If you get any errors, it'll tell you what to do. All right, we're gonna go ahead and click writing and next and some information here, got it. Communication in progress. So select the file you want to write to your vehicle. So this is the stock file and this is the new tune file that we sent back to the device. Unfortunately, I left it as a really long name, but we'll go ahead and click that, we'll hit next. So it's importing the file to the tool and uh, it's actually programming pretty fast, which is nice. So these new protocols, the new tuning devices flash ECUs a lot quicker than some older ones that can take 10, 15 minutes sometimes just to actually write to the ECU. You can see we're about 75% and it's only been about two minutes. Got the wireless device sitting right here. When you're done with the ECU flashing, this device and the cable can actually just sit in your car. So anytime you want to flash back to stock or if you have multiple tune files, you just have to plug this in and then launch the app from your phone. So it's real convenient. We're almost done with programming. It literally has been no more than about five minutes to program this eight megabyte file. You can hear the car doing some resetting. So it's gonna then uh, probably give us some directions from here, possibly turn the ignition on, turn the ignition off, bunch of different things. So let's just follow those directions. All right, turn the ignition off. So we'll go ahead and do that. Ignition is off, we'll hit okay. And you can see the ECU has been written successfully. So we'll hit okay. And it might generate a log file, which is important, and that gets sent directly to the servers, make sure everything flashed and wrote okay. And once it tells us and gets back to the home screen, we can then start the car and make sure it uh, works okay. All right, we're back to the home screen, meaning the ECU process is totally done. So we're gonna go ahead and start the car, make sure everything is good and it fires right up. There we go, we got no check engine lights, no issues, revs out nice means everything has been done completely perfect. So that's how the new Alien Tech PowerGate 4 works to flash your car from your smartphone with the VR tuned ECU tuning. No more need to have tons of cables and upload and download stuff to your computer. They've created this new device. So again, if you have any questions on how the Alien Tech PowerGate 4 works, go ahead and leave a comment. You can always email us tuning at vividracing.com. So whatever you guys need help with to get your horsepower needs, let us know. We'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys at the next one.